hi and welcome F1 pit pass here I'd like to introduce another in my series of tips and how to's in this one we're talking about flying the DJI Spark with a controller mounted on a tripod. Let's just put the spark back on its takeoff pad. I use the box that it came in as a takeoff pad. I find it really handy. But anyway, let's get down to the tripod and how we use it. We're all familiar with the Go4 app. In this instance it's on a Kindle Fire tablet which is an Android based unit it's small, very cheap. After a bit of tweaking, we can get it to load the Go4 app and fly the DJI Spark with it. So let's have a little look around the tripod. As with all tripods, it has a pivoting head. I've adapted it so the controller which comes with the fly more combo and can be bought separately. I've attached it to a piece of custom made wood so here we have the tablet a typical tablet holder with adjustment to hold various size tablets at various angles and this base is attached to this piece of wood which just fits the arms of the controller nothing complicated It just has to hold it solid.
back to the pros of using a tripod to mount the controller and the tablet. As you can see, using a tripod adds another dimension to the enjoyment of flying the DJI Spark. It frees your hands. I'm operating the control for the video camera at the moment and I certainly wouldn't relish that fact if I was holding a tablet in a controller and trying to fly the DJI at the same time. So I'll zoom in again and we'll have a little look at the the setup. We can see the tablet is mounted in the conventional clamp. It has an axe here a ball socket here and the controller is mounted at its base. This cable is for charging the tablet, the fire tablet, but it could well be on the go cable if you were using an iOS device in a similar setup. I'll add some stills at the end of this video to make it a bit clearer about how to use the DJI Spark with a tripod. Thanks for watching.